Tomorrow marks another step forward for tornado recovery. The governor announced this morning that at least 14 families in western Kentucky will get the keys to medium term housing. LEX 18's Austin Pollock takes a look inside these travel trailers and who is eligible. Friday morning, more than a dozen families in western Kentucky will get the keys to trailers such as these. Thursday morning, we got a look inside one of the trailers that will be available for survivors. The travel trailers again provide everybody a little more space and space that will feel like it's theirs during these months until they can move back in a rebuilt home and they provide a safe place for the time being. The state has bought 200 of these new either 2021 or 2022 model trailers. The first ones will go to families with school aged or young children and survivors at Kentucky State Parks or living in hotels outside their home community. It's not like other disasters where you can place people in other homes or apartments in those communities. Bashir added these can be placed on the family's property or rental property with landowner approval. It can also go on public property if local officials approve. While families and communities keep cleaning up and moving forward, Transportation Secretary Jim Gray says this is another example of just that. And that night in the dawn of December the 11th, we saw that unforgiving Mother Nature. But now we see the inspiration of renewal. The first 20 trailers will be in Mayfield and Dawson Springs. The governor's office added the state is paying for these. The governor has launched this program uh, very quickly in terms of getting the survivors that do not qualify for the FEMA program. This is the Commonwealth sheltering program. Emergency Management Director Michael Dossett and Governor Bashir say people have to be registered with FEMA and that deadline is fast approaching. Information on that is on LAX18.com. In Frankfurt, Austin Pollock, LAX18 News.